Okay, I am. Uh, I ordered a Westinghouse iGen 4500 dual fuel, <coughs> and um, one of the I have it open because I um, one of the first things I did was to change my jet out. I'm I'm over 6,000 feet, so I bought the a high altitude jet kit. So I just got finished and uh, changing out the jet to a high altitude jet. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm on the other side, and um, another complaint that people had was the. Um, uh, auto choke issue with the auto choke cable. And uh, one thing that I did find is uh, that Westinghouse has fixed that. If you look at my other video that I have linked here, it shows you what Westinghouse has done to uh, to, change, uh, to fix the issue of the loose auto choke cable and the no start. So watch that video and you'll be kind of surprised at what Westinghouse has done to fix that. So anyway, this video is about draining oil. Nobody likes to drain oil. And on these uh, generators, it is even more difficult than ever to drain the oil because the way it's set up inside here is, there's your drain. Here's the edge of your generator. You know, you have a good, probably at least two inches or so between the drain plug, the oil drain plug, and the generator edge, the frame edge. So essentially, Either you find a way to throw it, put a good catch pan under here, a small one, to start catching the oil if you want to change the oil, or you do what a lot of people do, and as I've seen in videos, open it up, people open it up and let the oil drain to the bottom pan of the generator, and then out the bottom of the drain holes. <clears throat> I, I do not like messy situations. I've, I've been working on uh, vehicles and, and other machines for over 30 years, and I, I'm a retired Air Force aviator, so um, I'm, I'm kind of particular about cleanliness especially when it comes to oil and, and things like that. So um, anyway, I don't want, I wasn't satisfied with just opening up my, my drain port here and letting my oil drain down in the bottom and make a mess and, and have to try to get rags back in there and wipe it up. So I went ahead and I purchased a drain tip. So essentially, so what a drain tip is, is it's basically a run of hose. And for this model, the uh, iGen 4500, uh, it's got three eighths inch uh, head that you screw into your uh, uh, where your um, oil drain goes, and it's also got a three eighths inch uh, head here covered by a brass nut that is where you drain the oil from. So, this uh, the model number for uh, for the iGen forty five hundred for the of the drains it is a H O N ten ten, and I ordered this one off eBay, uh, a good seller on eBay because it would get here quicker than I could get it on Amazon. So anyway, this is what I'm installing today. And essentially what this does is you mount it up right there where your drain goes. I'm gonna have to, we're gonna be removing this and it goes, it screws into right there. And this hose hangs out of, sorry about that people hangs out of your, your service port here. So it screws in there, this hose hangs out, and then you can you can just put this end in a, in a milk jug or catch can or whatever, and drain it clean. You don't have any spilled oil or anything to clean out of the bottom of the generator, it just runs down the hose into your container, you screw the cap back on, you're good to go, and take it and store it back up in there. All right. So the first thing you have to do is a lot of the videos um, talk about just removing the bottom or the side and the bottom nuts, uh, screws, and just getting access into the panel to get up into there. Um, I re I've just it's if it's a few nuts, a couple bolts and just take the whole side cover loose. Now, it's not gonna come completely off because you have the pull cord. So it'll come and swing out like this, but it's still connected with the pull cord, but you still have full access down here, and that's what I want. So, this is what we do is you need a 13 inch open end wrench and a socket 
and then ratchet with the ten, number 10 socket. So, sorry people, I'm dropping things here. <laughs> I'm in the garage trying to film this in one handed and it's, it's kind of difficult, but I figured it's important enough for you guys to, to watch this and learn how to do this because it's pretty simple and it encourages you to keep doing oil changes um, because they're clean. So anyway, here we are. We removed the side cover or loosened it and we're at the, the drain plug. Now is what you gotta do is take your 13 inch wrench and place it on, not on the, you don't wanna place it on your drain screw. You place it on the back here on the, the main piece of drain and you break it loose. So once that's broken loose, you just unscrew it, unscrew the whole thing. And it's a good idea to check the oil before you do this and make sure that there's not still a bunch left in the factory. I mean, they leave some in after break-in, but they drain it all out after they break it in. So you'll still have some residual, but it's a good idea to check and make sure they did drain it and it's not full. Otherwise, you're gonna have a nasty surprise once you once you pull this thing out, you, like I said, you'll have some residual dripping out, so you're gonna to wanna to put some some rags or something under here to catch that, but it's just residual, so. All right, there we go. So there's that. You see that residual oil coming out, so you wanna to try to keep that as, as clean as you can. Just keep it wiped off. And you'll still have residual oil coming out, and that's okay. We can work around that. So now you take your drains it, and you want to make certain that. So you have the the three eighths inch threaded uh, insert there, the head, and a rubber gasket. But if you're not careful, is what you're going to miss is, and it falls off all the time, is this little brass. Um, washer that comes on here so make sure that if that falls off or just make sure to double check that you have that on otherwise you're not you're not gonna have the compression you need and this is gonna come loose all right so we have that set up like that now so you just take it into the threaded hole and just turn it Thread it on in there, it goes in there nice and easy. And then once you have it hand tight with the hose, you can go back in and snug it down with your 13 open end. Like that, so just snug it nice and tight. Now you don't wanna to go too tight with this because It's a soft aluminum. This, this crankcase is a pretty soft aluminum, and you definitely don't want to you don't want to strip out the thread. You know the threads in your crankcase, or you have a whole other issue to deal with. So you just want to make sure it's nice and snug in there. Um, now, once you run it, um, <clears throat> it's, it might be a good idea to uh, you know after you run the break-in period, or, or you know run it for a few hours or whatever. Keep an eye and make sure you don't see any leaks under the generator. Um, good idea to maybe put some a piece of paper under there or something, and that way you can tell if anything's dripping out. Or um, pull the cover and take a look, I mean, whatever you want to do. But just double check it a couple times to make sure nothing's leaking out after you run it. So reverse, you just put the, you know, here's your drain. And you just, it runs to the, the side of the, the cover and you just keep it stored up in here inside the cover you know when it's when you're not using it and then when you're ready drip, drop it out get a catch pan unscrew the brass nut and out comes your oil and there's a nice clean oil change <clears throat> once it's done wipe it off you know screw your brass screw on tighten it on there nice and good you might want to use your 13 to to snug it down there Probably not necessary, but you can. And then just take it and put it back up in the inside your generator there for the next oil change. Make sure you add oil, of course, and um, to the right level and fire up and 
nice and easy. About 25 or 30 bucks for the drains it as of today. <clears throat> but uh, you might be able to find it different priced, but uh, that's what I got it for, and it's well worth it. Good luck, guys.